I told Brock uh, when that happened, I said, you know, Brock, what if we, what if we look at it a little bit different? What if we, what if we did something that where the movie was inspired from the real event? Uh, why don't we create a product inspired from the movie? And we, cre- I said, and we'll call it, you know, whatever. And uh, Brock was like, Jaybird, anything you want to do, I'm right behind you because this is never going to happen. Blah blah blah. And it was Tom. Okay, so we created this concept of this quasi reality show, even though everything's authentic. Okay, not like Amazing Race where it's all staged. Literally, an Amazing Race. They tell him, okay, get out of the car and run to the cliff. And then, uh, now do it again, only uh, this time uh, throw a purse at your wife and call her a whore, right? That, that, they're called produced. All reality is that way. Ours was more like docutainment, right? Because we didn't, we didn't, I mean, the shit that went down on our show really actually went down. It's hilarious. So we struggled though for like six months trying to come up with a name, right? And Brock was co-producer and, and uh, we couldn't come up with anything. I finally told uh, a few friends in Florida. I, do you know who Monty Pat? Do you remember Monty Patterson? Very well. Yeah. Yeah. Monty was like my mentor, man. I love that man. I'm so sorry that he had passed away. I love that man. Like, like, like another father that guy was to me. And Monty and Tom LaPointe and David Hickman, who was the president of my ad agency. And I said, look, here's what we're going to do. We're going to go downtown Orlando. I forgot where what this eatery was, but it was a hot wings place. We're going to order hot wings and get fucking wasted. But we are not leaving here until we come up with a name. And let me tell you, Tom, Tom came in with a book of NASCAR legends, right? So we're all talking. And we're at this point. We're probably three sheets to the wind because we're still trying to come up with a name. And, and, and Tom opens that book up and goes, hey, did you know there was a NASCAR legend named Fireball Roberts? And I'm like, get the what? His name was Fireball? I mean, sounds like Cannonball. And of course, Cannonball got ball in it. Yeah, and hey, right. And and Brock named Cannonball after Cannonball Baker. I'm like, okay, we named Mars after Fireball Roberts. And and we're in. This has been Jeff Stearns, Connected Through Cars. 